What's up, everyone? Thrall's Metal here once again. I'm Necrotic Nick. I'm Jamin John. Miller. Shredlaw. And we are here with a viewer response. We put out a post a while ago about an album versus album thing, since you guys love the band versus band one, and man, yeah, I did say be yeah. devious. And you were. Yeah. yeah. And you were. Thanks Bam. a lot. <laughs> There's a ton on this I probably don't even know. And, you know, honestly, <laughs> there are things on here we don't know, so we're not yep. necessarily familiar with, so not yeah. as though we're going to like completely skip over them, but we might not answer them just because we're not as familiar. But there's a ton on here we do know, and we're going to get right down to them, and uh, thank you for making us sweat on a lot of these. Really you said ass familiar. <laughs> ass. You said ass familiar. Ass familiar? <laughs> he really said as familiar, but my dirty yeah. mind heard ass familiar. Of course. Which makes did. me think some kind of butt vampire. I don't know. I don't know either. But Jesus what? Christ. Yeah. Well, a familiar? Did you? A familiar? No? Well, I mean, yeah, but. Oh, I'm sorry. In in uh, in the blade terminology, I think a familiar is a human yeah. who works for the vampires, but still. Oh, yeah. Like, is Good that point. like. Well, it can yeah. be, it can be an, an that, animal. Like, so, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I pulled you into a universe you weren't even know. Like, what the f***? Butt vampire. Sorry. Yeah. A lot of oh, non-canon stuff going on here. Anyway, back to the list. And the fact that there are some things that you don't yeah, know no, specifically they're, they're, makes me feel better. Because I, I don't told them to it dig exists. deep. And, I, yeah, I mean, I listened to an absurd amount of music, but there were some bands I'm really not familiar with, or at least albums I wasn't. So And I listened to a, a fairly absurd amount, too. His is absurder. 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 More absurd. absurd. More it absurd. Like a whole band absurder. It does. The, hey. That does sound like a band. Yeah. Either, we're, either we're taking it, or you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was stuff on here that I didn't know, and I tried to listen to some while I was at work this week, and yeah. No. Oh. <sighs> so, let's get this one started, and we're going from our newest comments, the oldest ones. So we're starting off with one Jason Parsons, and this is for everyone. Ooh. Dissections, Storm of Light's Bane, versus Vader's De Profundis. You son of a bitch. I all right. I know both these albums. I, I know Vader. Love. Yeah, I know yeah, Vader. So Vader my votes there. Vader, Vader. <laughs> Come on, so, Joe. What do you got? I'm not the biggest Vader person, so I think by uh, by that <laughs> default, I'm going dissection. All right, there you go. Ooh, uh, two to one. Come God. on, Nick. Uh, two to one. Honestly, I'm gonna go dissection. The Storm of the Lights Bane. That that is a gorgeous album. It really is a short-lived band too. Vader's put out tons of killer albums. Granted, Deep Profundus might. Be their best when I'm not committing. I'm gonna be yet. adding some of this. To a oh list. yeah, <laughs> yeah right. this is this is also educational for some. Yeah, yeah, Slow yeah. it down. <laughs> what All right, next in line, cattle decapitated monolith of inhumanity versus dying fetus reign supreme. Oh, it's oh wow. Um, all right, I'm, I'm probably going to irritate some people. I'm going with Dying Fetus, Rain Supreme. I love that album. There are yeah. people that don't like that one for some reason. Maybe it's the production, but Jesus Christ, it's Rift City, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nothing so against like Dying the Fetus. Cattle decap, man. That album's incredible. But <laughs> Dying Fetus. This Dying already Fetus. is making me do things. Like, every time I read it, I... I, my face. I don't, I don't know don't what worry. I can. Uh. Brain can't process, Overlord. We only got 574 more. <sighs> yeah, keep going, bud. You're gonna be fine. I'm going cattle decap. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm also going cattle decap only because of the mix of that fucking dying Venus album. I love is terrible. It. No, it isn't. That album sounds amazing. It's just a little bit more polished. That's what I don't like. Oh, about it. no, it's not bad. He doesn't like the pop. I mean, Destroy the Opposition is probably the go to for me. Next, this should be an interesting one Opeth with My Arms, Your Hers it versus wins. Napalm Death's Utopia Band. See, that's not Opeth even a fair match. It's up, not, but, because uh, that's, those no. are two separate schools of music, even. Opeth wins. Opeth I'm, wins for me, too. I mean, that's o a badass album. It, I mean, o yeah, Opeth wins on that one. I love Utopia Banish, though. I love Napalm Death, but that is such. Uh, my Arms, Your Hearse is my favorite Opeth album, and Opeth is one of my favorite bands of all time, so Opeth by default is not even close. I mean, it's all You're favorite gonna hate me, Joe, as usual. It's all right. I like oh, Opeth. I don't hate, hate you as usual. <laughs> what, know, is no, this, no. what is this? Uh, yeah, no, I, we I'm love a we so much. Much. What do I look like, a butt familiar? You're going to be on the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you look like a butt vampire, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Nah, Napalm Whew. Death. It's, a, right. it's a great album. Yeah, it's a great album. Next we have Entomb's Clandestine versus Niles' Annihilation of the Wicked. 
I like that Nile album. I, I like too. that Carl Sanders. He's oh, like, I, do. I mean, I do. I like that's one of my favorite Nile albums too. Uh, <laughs> I'm a Mind giant. Nile. I'm a, yeah. I'm a giant Entomb fanboy, but Nile, Annihilation of the Wicked, that's I, that's up there with my favorite Nile albums. Carl Sanders, Colonel Sanders, Carl Sanders, Colonel Sanders. Is something going on here? <laughs> there is a KFC in Egypt. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I've seen the pictures. They weren't shopped. And the last one, Jason, and thank you for your time. <laughs> Deicide, Once Upon the Cross versus Cryptopsy, None So Vile. Yeah, I'm gonna say... Deicide, Once Upon the Cross. Dude, that, that album yeah. had a profound impact on me in my young teenage years. Yeah, and again, I think these are kind of separate schools of thought, too. Cryptopsy's... See that, for sure. But hey, I like that Deicide album. I do, too. Albums. Teddies. I do. That, that's up there with one of my favorite. Yes, Old Glenn. Old Glenny Pooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glenny Pooh wins this one. Knows what to all do. the Satans all the time. All, yeah. all the rage all the time. So uh, this came from the Lunatic Bro. Thank you, bro. For Necrotic Dick. Deicide Legion versus Morbid Angel Covenant. You son of a bitch. <laughs> that's tough. That is. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Uh, begrudgingly. I'm going to take Covenant just because I think it's slightly better. I love Legion, though. That is probably my favorite DSI album. I mean, you'll find out in the rankings, but, I mean, I don't see much contention there. <sighs> yeah, it's Covenant. Damn it. Ooh, yeah, I've heard of that. Shred. Angel. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne, Diary of a Madman versus Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, that's tough. It's it's Randy Rhodes versus Tony Iommi, and I think I'm going to go Heaven and Hell. Wow. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, Dire of a Madman is a fantastic album, but obviously the the one Randy Rhodes for me is The Blizzard of Oz, the first one. That's a damn good uh, comparison. Lunatic Bro, you are a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for uh, one Jam and John, we have Sepultura's Chaos AD versus White Zombie's Lost Sexorcisto. You do well. That that is almost do, an impossible yeah. choice for me. I have to say, Sepultura's Chaos AD. That was the first metal album I ever bought. Like, I, I period. Own, like, White Zombie first. I, but, I, uh, <sighs> yep. I I'm glad. I'm glad that was yep. the question. The that was your first metal album you bought when you were on your period. Is that what I said? No, it was after his period. Oh, oh after, after, his after his period. period. Okay. After his period. After his period. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> no, it, you didn't say it. I'm just trolling. Oh, okay. <laughs> wait, I thought I, I, thought I mentioned it. I was like, wait, I had a period? I'm, I'm bound not to talk about my period on camera. Oh, my well, you, missed, I mean, you missed your period. You pregnant? Listen, I'm sorry we didn't I, throw you a look, period Look, here's the party. thing. <laughs> I'm in, I am. I am in my um, 63rd trimester. The, the chicks I work with did the math. He's going to be a soccer player. Yes. 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 Creepy. Got my shirt from Frank. <laughs> so, since Ren couldn't make it tonight, and we have Miller here, and they have very similar tastes. Yeah. This one for Ren, we are going to field towards one Miller, and it is Pantera, Cowboys from Hell, or Slayer Seasons in the Abyss. Now, this is a motherfucker of a uh, one. Dude. But Pantera, for life, I mean, that album just came out and like, Nothing like that had ever been heard. It was one of the, the most original things that came out at that point. And it, it set the tone for a huge of generations and generations of musicians. Man. And now Slayer Seasons of the Abyss is, is a gold standard <laughs> yeah. for thrash. But uh, man, I think the Pantera as a whole and that album and the, the, the catapult that it was, yeah, it set up generations and generations of great music. And, and honestly, not that Slayer hasn't, but well, I of think course Pantera not. made it. But honestly, I think Cowboys from Hell was almost like our Seasons in the Abyss because yeah, when Seasons true. in the yeah, Abyss yeah, yeah. came out, it was like a little bit before our time as far as you know, like when it came out. Mm -hmm. But you know, we were growing up listening to metal in the '90s, and Pantera was the biggest band throwing the the flag keeping yeah, the yeah, torch yeah, yeah. burning you know yeah, yeah, yeah Pantera was so yeah had we been like yeah you know, eight ten years older absolutely it, it very easily could have been Slayer but we like grew Pantera up for life. Pantera was was our shit man that's oh, shit. what we clang to when everyone else was listening to the Backstreet Boys and in their in their insane clown posses <laughs> so yeah Lunatic Bro good good ones bastard that was lunatic <laughs> bro that was nice. <laughs> i know you're out there i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> all right next we have julio jones and 
Ah, oh, man, you start off with a doozy here. Immolations, Dawn of Possession versus Incantations, Onward to Golgotha. The Battle of Ugly Death Metal Debuts. I have to abstain. I'm not as familiar with these albums as you are, Nick, that's for sure. So, I don't know. I don't know. Immo versus Incan. Yep, I'm actually going to let Nick field this one, too. <laughs> what? I, I haven't Because I haven't jammed enough yeah, of either maybe. album to give it a full... Well, it's... Immolation, Dawn of Possession, Ooh. by a narrow margin. Immolation, fan- they're both fantastic bands. In fact, there's like uh, some sort of like unspoken competition as to who's the greatest death metal band between these two. Because I mean, that, you know, yeah. that one, if you want me to actually rank band versus band, that I can't do it. Uh, yeah, either. that's tough. <laughs> that's, yeah. I've seen them both. I've jammed them both. I like Incantation. That's why I would yeah. just automatically go to that. So. I'll jam some more Immolation. For oh, no, Immolation's too. fantastic. Right. Yeah. Next we have... A battle of classics, Metallica, Ride the Lightning versus Megadeth's Peace Cells. It's Peace Cells. I love Peace Cells. I am buying Megadeth. I, I, I'm I, buying every bit. I'm yeah. I'm also saying Megadeth, and the, I mean, for I love Ride the Lightning. Yeah, dude. I'm yeah, I, I, well, I, I mean, even so, I'm not the world's biggest Metallica fan. I'm gonna say it. Even I the mean, early stuff. There's some. It's good, but I mean, it's not <laughs> stuff I would jam all the time. And then we have Municipal Waste, The Art of Parting versus Iron Reagan and the Tyranny this, of Will. This was a damn good matchup. The Battle of Tony's Bands. Hey, Pizza pizza Thrash. The Battle pizza of Pizza Thrash. thrash. Hey, Pizza <laughs> Thrash. This is crossover. I like Municipal Waste. I love yeah. Municipal Waste, but I, I be Iron heart. Reagan, Tyranny of Will, that's my pick. I, I just like how hostile and aggressive that is. Municipal Waste, that part, Art of Parting, it is... It's a great yeah, party that's album. That's a great album. I like it. That's my pick. Oh, Tyranny of Will just whoops ass. Municipal Waste. Yep. Municipal. And then we have the Battle of Pig Destroyer albums. Prowler in the Yard versus Terrifier. Both these albums mm. are immensely just fucking nuts to listen to. Buck nutty. But I'm going to go with Prowler in the Yard. Prowler in the Yard is, I would say, like a almost modern grind classic. I mean, it came out in the, what, early 2000s? Or late 90s? I think, I think it was early 2000s. 2002 or something? Something like that, yeah. It's it's awesome. No basis. Fuck that. They just have a guy that makes noises and then everyone else just riffs and blast beats and it's insane. I love it. It is insane. That's why I can't tell the album. I've, I've listened to Pig Destroyer. I just don't know the albums to know what song and yeah. what album. So Dude, uh, both of them. I'll, I'll hit you with some Pig <laughs> Destroyer, both. man. I, I, when I listen, I just kind of... Shuffle all usually. I, I don't know what album I'm which is which. Yeah, time. you know yeah. I like I like Pig Destroyer uh, because I am a fan of bacon. So uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, destroy destroying a pig to get to the bacon, you know. But I think if you terrify your pig before you cut him to make bacon, the adrenaline glands, like the adrenochrome, invigorates the bacon. So Seasoned terrifier meat. for me because it it produces better bacon. Yeah. If that makes sense. <laughs> It does, terrifying the pigs before yeah. you kill them. It's a good way to go. I need to jam both these albums. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, we're not... The, 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 I, we'll get to them. Well, yeah, I'm going to get to them. We're all going to get to them. Next, we have some diabolical questions by the user Eric Jagos. For all, he says, Metallica's first five albums versus Pantera's last five albums. Pantera's last five. Pantera's last five. Yep. Pan Terra's last five. Metallica <laughs> got hurt by throwing the black album in there. So we got one. Uh, pick your favorite Rotting Christ versus pick your favorite Septic Flesh. Uh, honestly, I'm not. I like. I still need to listen to more Rotting Christ. And really me too. Yep. I've heard. One. I've heard maybe two or three songs. Yeah. If Necrotic hasn't listened to yeah. a lot of it, I gotta get to some Septic yeah. Flesh too. I have some of it, but I'm not. Familiar I've with jammed it. one Septic Flesh album, but I don't know which one it was. So uh, I have like three of them. They're good. They're both good bands. I just need more to like. And me too. One. So, but the next one, Miller, if you will, Cannibal Corpse, Tomb of the Mutilated versus Carcass Necroticism. Oh, that's easy for me, Necroticism. And that's easy for me too. Also, Necroticism. Although I do love oh, Tomb of the Mutilated. Yeah, I love Tomb but, of the Mutilated. But I, not more than I love Carcass. <laughs> it's 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 Necroticism. I mean, it's not just because it's my man. <laughs> But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the other way. Wow! Because I yeah. I love. I do I fucking love Cannibal Corpse. Dude, I mean, it has so many yeah. killer. That's the I love, intros I ripped from our brains. Carcass, Carcass Hardware. Yeah, that's and, a love and, song. And this, yeah. The Chronicism is good too. I'm not gonna lie, but oh. Tomb of the Mutilated Man. That yeah. I don't know. I love that album. It's amazing. So, <laughs> so you pick your favorite Hypocrisy album versus your favorite Dimmaburger album. 
I can do that. Anything hypocrisy. hypocrisy. Anything hypocrisy. Anything hypocrisy over hypocrisy. to me. Yeah, anything yeah. hypocrisy. It doesn't matter. Opeth Deliverance versus My Dying Bride, The Dreadful Hours. Opeth. 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 I'm, I, I love My Dying Bride, but it's Deliverance. Yep. Deliverance is a badass That song album. alone. Yep. Yeah. yeah, do that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I go Opeth on that. That uh, Deliverance is a good album. The song Wreath. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying they don't have good songs and they don't know what they're doing. They do, obviously. And yeah, some they good boys. Some good shit. They got some good stuff going on, they but do, they uh, do. the Swedish counterparts. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Ooh. FBR covers. Man. Mm -hmm. All right. First off, he uh, said he's going to stick with some classic death metal albums, and you did. And yep. you, you put them up against... Some, Really mean shit. Right. Right away. The yeah. first one. Death's human versus Entomb's left hand path. God. I'm going left hand path because that is Swedish death metal glory. It's a damn near perfect album. Death's human uh, is amazing. Left hand path all the way. Death human for me. Death this human was, for me, this dude. Not, I love this is not easy. That's one of my yeah. top death albums. I mean yes. wow. Yep, yeah. death. Chuck. But that's a dirty trick, and so is <laughs> yeah. Well, they're all dirty. You just oh, like took yeah, the dude. top ten classic. But, death but let's metal be and honest. Hit shuffle and like you little you, know. you little perverts out there. <laughs> this is this is what you love. You love pitting us against. Yeah. You love taking our our favorite things and another one of our favorite things, and then they got to fight, and then yeah. one of them dies, and we're crushed inside. And this is what you do to us. But we do it because we love you, baby. We love you. Next in line is Morbid Angels Covenant. <laughs> oh, Bolt versus, throw up. Versus Bolt, Bolt throw up. Versus Bolt Realm of Chaos. Wow. The hell. Uh, Covenant. 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 Morbid Angel. Covenant. Final Covenant. answer. Covenant. It's Covenant. Covenant. I love Covenant. I do too. I know. Yeah, I would say Covenant too, just because I, I know Bolt Thrower, but again, not. Oh, we're going to get into oh, some dude. Bolt Thrower. Oh, yeah, I, I've listened to them. It's just one of those things they just shuffle in like for 10 hours while no, I'm working. Now, Bolt Thrower wins on the album you know? cover. Yes, they do. Win on the yeah, album the cover. Covenant, Album covers uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heartwork versus Slaughter of the Soul. Uh, I mean, heartwork. It's, it's heartwork. I love heartwork. I love Carcass. I love Carcass. Heartwork. Dirty trick, though. It is a dirty yeah, trick. Slaughter yeah. of the Soul is beautiful. Oh, man. All right, and we also have Deicide's self-titled versus Obituary's Cause of Death. Obi. Oh, Obituary. See, that's... Yeah. I'm going to say Obituary, uh, too, because yeah. that's still a little... Yeah, it's it's obituary. Yeah, and I, I feel bad because DSI hasn't won one yet, and I love DSI, but I mean, that's that's such a great album. Yeah, James Murphy on that obituary album. Yep, that's why I'm going with that one too. Like, it, he's that's chopped in half. Killer. Yeah, yeah, dude, that album's great. And then finally, we have Pestilence Consuming Impulse versus Incantations Onward to Golgotha, and I know I. Talk a lot of love for incantation, but consuming impulse is brilliant. I absolutely love that album, so it's pestilence on this one. I know consuming impulse, and I don't really know onward to Golgotha that much, so uh, by default it wins. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go consuming impulse. I really enjoyed that album when I jammed it. I think uh, Nick, it came off of a recommendation. Oh, dude, really that's sick. so good. It's so thrashy. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm gonna say consuming impulse. The, I, I do. Love pestilence. And did they kill the love? Yeah, well, yeah, they did kill live too. I should have bought the shirt. I still I know. pissed off. I, I should have bought a shirt too. Thank you, FDR covers. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Another excellent member of the community, Mr. Sharu Pathur, says, "Altars of Madness versus Rain and Blood." Now, obviously, Jim and John doesn't have Altars of Madness rated very high, so <laughs> I have a feeling he'll probably go Jesus Rain and Christ. Blood. <laughs> Number six overall. Can you believe it? Uh, Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> but first of all, fuck these guys. Second of all, fuck these guys. Never. Forget. Um. Never forget. Uh, Third of all, this one's this one might be the hardest one so far. Yeah. I have it. I had mm. Alters Madness number two. That is one of the best debuts of any metal <laughs> band ever. But. Rain and Blood is a staple. It's been one of my favorite albums since I discovered anything extreme. So Slayer. Slayer. Just barely, by a squeak. By a, yeah. by a monkey claw, which is that little <laughs> fart that comes out, but it doesn't have enough butt cheek space to go out the back, so it comes up the front and just tickles your nutsack a bit. <laughs> Oddly specific. I'm going to go Rain and Blood. Yes. Yeah. Slayer. Yes. I'm going to go Alters of Madness. 
I, oh, you ooh, would. I, I, <laughs> you've got a reputation to yeah. save, don't you? <laughs> Fourth of all, fuck these guys. <laughs> They'll never live it down. Um, we won't let them. <laughs> I'm not a giant Slayer fan. Never have been. Probably never will be. Uh, even after we rank the discography, yeah, there's some songs I like. But next up, we have Suffocations, Pierced from Within versus Cannibal Corpse's Tomb of the Mutilated. Pierced from Within. I love that fucking album. I do too. That's uh, that's Pierced from Within yep. by a little bit. Yep. Ooh. Only because it's my favorite album by them. It. Yeah. Well, that too. <laughs> Not so, that Tomb and too Mutilated would be up there pretty high for me. I, I love that. Yeah. Album. Yeah, that would be. I uh, pierced. I would have to go with Pierce for within on this. That's brilliant. As big of a. I mean, you all know what we album. ripped it. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> yeah. It's my number one suffocation album, so yeah. Yeah. It's going to be up there, so. The next one we have is Obituary's Cause of Death versus Boat Thrower's War Master. I like War Master. I do man. like War Master. Uh, I'm gonna say I War really Master. do like War I'm Master. I'm going Boat Thrower. Boat Thrower. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, and this is one of the Bolt Thrower albums that I do know it is the album. Yeah. That's why I'm going with that one. Yes. Boat Thrower. Yes. Boat Thrower. Thrower. The T is in F, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with Obituary, Cause of Death. I, I love that album. I've been such a huge fan of it. Yeah, it's amazing. But I mean. Warmaster is one of my favorites. It actually is my favorite Bolt Thrower album, but Obituary. Bolt Thrower. fanboy. Next, we have Death Spiritual Healing versus Megadeth's Rust in Peace. Rust in Peace. And that's that's tough, but I love... Yeah, that's my that's favorite Megadeth good. album. Agreed. That's that's, I love Same it. Dave mm-hmm. Mustaine. These would both be my number two favorites from these bands, and that sucks because it makes it just as difficult. <laughs> I'm still going to go with Rust in Peace, though. It's Holy Wars... Ah, they have Russ Hornet of Souls. Megadeth. Yeah. I love me some Megadeth. And last but certainly not least on this heavyweight of a list that he's compiled together, it would be the first Bathory album versus Celtic Frost, two Megatherian. Two Megatherian for me. Also, two Megatherian for me. I love that first Bathory album. It's great. But two Megatherian, that's that's the Mm go-to. Mm-hmm. I mean, next to you know, monotheist. And I don't know enough about either one of these. But he's gonna jam. Well, yeah, yeah. He's he put he made yeah. some notes. Yeah, we yeah. yeah we he <laughs> took some notes and pushed some buttons. Two Megatherian. So, so yeah, shrewd, like, solid, like, right? solid list. Yeah. I, Dude, I think you have something personal against us. Yeah, <laughs> that or you have a really excellent knack for pitting great things up against each other. Yeah, yeah. you'd be you'd be a good uh, bracketeer for March Madness, sir. So. Next, we have a batch from Josh Allen. And, yeah, we talk a lot in the premieres, and, and you have some nasty ones here. Starting off with Creator's Pleasure to Kill versus Sodom's Agent Orange. It's Agent Orange. Agent Orange. Agent, Agent Orange, Orange is Agent Orange. amazing. Sodom. Yes, yep. Sodom. Pleasure to Kill is amazing, too, but, yeah. Then we have Metallica's Kill em All versus Slayer's Show No Mercy. Honestly, surprisingly, I'm going to go with Kill em All. I like Show No Mercy. It's a good album, but yep. Kill 'Em All whoops ass me, still. Me, me too. And I'm not. A it's fan very tough. I'll, fan say of yep. well, I'll say I'm Kill 'Em All. Yeah, I'll say Kill 'Em All. Yeah. Dave Mustaine. Though, that's a good because one. Because Dave wrote pretty much that entire album. Yep. Honestly, this is this is one of the <laughs> yeah, few true. matchups where Metallica would win against Slayer in, in my book. And then uh, we have Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell versus Dio's Holy Diver. You've been out too long <laughs> in the question C. <laughs> oh, what is becoming of me? But I I mean Heaven and Hell is is such an iconic album. Yep. And of course Holy Diver is like the Dio solo album that started it all for his solo career, but I mean Heaven and Hell is basically a super group and that album for yep. me. I love Heaven and Hell. Fuck you for that, but I gotta go Sabbath. After we did the Sabbath ranking and I jammed all that, dude, Heaven and Hell was up there. That's a, such a good album. Yeah, Heaven and Hell. Honestly, I mean... It's, I mean, so it's Holy Diver, but I mean, Holy Heaven and classic, Hell's yeah. fucking... That's honestly the, probably the first time I ever heard Dio was courtesy of Holy Diver, but Heaven and Hell. Yeah, I'm going to go the same, and I'm actually kind of changing, because I was going to go Dio. I, I love Dio. But uh, that, yeah, that Black Sabbath Heaven and Hell oh, is man, really it's good. good. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I still think Mob Rules is a little bit better. So next we have Fight War of Words versus Bruce Dickinson's solo album, Accident of Birth. Shout out to JJ. Shout out to JJ. Our buddy JJ, the who's the bass player in Fight. He did my music tattoo. And JJ's brother did the... Did all the Muppets on my back. Someday we'll get into that. Yeah, someday we'll finish that. Rest in peace, brother. Yeah. I love you and I Rip miss Josiah. you. Josiah. 
Ah, oh, man. man. So, Fight with War Words also has Russ Parrish from Steel Panther on guitar. And people don't oh, realize man. what a motherfucker no, he is on awesome. guitar. Yeah. So, you had, man. Rob Halford. You had Halford. I'm going to say Fight. I'm more familiar with that album. I haven't heard. Yeah, you know, that's the only one I heard. Chris Dickinson's so. Accident of Birth yet. So, for me, Accident of Birth is my second favorite Bruce Dickinson album behind The Chemical Wedding. The album Chemical Wedding by Bruce Dickinson is my absolute favorite. Accident of Birth is is probably number two as far as like if you're the Maiden fan looking into Bruce's solo album, that's the you know the more metal type shit than some of the other stuff. But man, I gotta go War of Words because dude, that was such a fucking awesome album, and it features somebody that we know personally. Yep. Yep. So yeah, yeah, fight, fight into the pit. Next is Tool Lateralis versus Deftones White Pony. And I'm going to go, uh, well, go, because I changed my mind. Well, this is easy for me. This is one of the rare times you'll see me go Tool on anything. Yeah. Really? I'm going Tool Lateralis. And I'm going to go Tool, too. I am. And I love the Deftones. I love Lateralis. And I'm actually not that big of a Tool fan, but I love Lateralis. Lateralis is still really and good. I, and I think musically, too, I think this question, I think Tool definitely outdoes the Deftones musically. Yeah, they have yeah. Danny Carey. Um, Danny Carey's insane. You know, but a couple of my, f- still my favorite jams that I still jam all the time are on White Pony. Yep. Dude, I jam Passenger all the time, actually, Korea, which has... Digital Bath. Yeah, so, Ladder Ellis for me. Yeah, I, the the production and, like, the engineering side of it is, is where, like, because I... I Really enjoyed the way the drums sounded on, on that death. Dude, the yeah. track 11 yeah. on Lateralis, Reflections, that's yeah. one of my favorite tool drum beats ever. I don't know. I'm at a wash. <laughs> I'm going to claim a wash. <laughs> wash. Nah, cancel yeah. out. Yeah. Josh Allen, hell of a list, though. Yeah, Solid, yeah. Man, for sure. Good shit. Thank you. Next up. Bean we, Bong. We have Bean Bong. Bean Bong. And I, I love it, dude. It. Yeah. I love it. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to be saying that later. <laughs> Bean <Yeah>. Bong. <laughs> <laughs> We're stupid. Autopsy with Mental Funeral versus Incantation, Mortal Throne of Nazarene. I haven't heard this Autopsy album, but maybe once. I also haven't heard this Incantation album, but more than once. So I gotta bow out. I'm gonna take Mortal Throne of Nazarene. I I love that Incantation album. I love that Autopsy album, but that was probably the first one I bought Hmm. for Incantation. And yeah, I just heard them on samplers before, mostly through Relapse. Thank you, Relapse. Yeah, I loved when they used to send samplers and oh, shit. Dude, this I miss, dude, I miss the contaminated <laughs> record samplers. You'll never yeah. see another sampler CD ever again. I know. No. It's all the game has been changed. Yeah, which is a bummer because I own two of those contaminated. Okay, oh, like, you, you cruise around uh, SoundCloud and stuff like that. I mean, I cruise around all sorts of shit. I got, yeah, I got a couple in like you know uh, metalhead boxes and stuff, but they're they're rare now. And next we have uh, Terrorizers, World Downfall versus Carcasses, Symphonies of Sickness. Carcass. I'm going to say Carcass. Carcass. I'm going to surprise you all and say Terrorizer. Terrorizer. It's, hey, it's good a death, for being different. It's a Death Grind classic. You have uh, Jason Pintado in there and uh, Pete Sandoval on But you have Brian right. Boitano. No. He was on. No Brian Boitano? Then I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I'll see you next up. We have Massacres from Beyond versus Malevolent Creations Revelation. Ah, oh, man. Honestly, that's a tough pick. I haven't jammed either of them. Me neither, so I'm going like to default. Massacre. I've heard. I do uh, like, I mean, I like them both. But again, it's one of those but that I mean, just go Right, on. right. It's not on my. Then guess. we have to trust Nick's opinion here. Yeah, what is it? I have to go with Massacre. Uh, it, it's a solid album. I mean, you know, whether or not you like Cam Lee or not, a lot of people that have been in Massacre don't like him. <laughs> a lot of people that have been in there do like him, though. But it's a cool kind of one-off album up until they reformed and put out a terrible follow-up. But, yeah, this is a killer album. I love Love and Creation, but, yeah, Massacre. Uh, then we have Godflesh's Street Cleaner versus Neurosis Souls at Zero. Damn. I love Neurosis. It's going to be Souls of Zero for me because I love Neurosis. Neurosis only because I've never heard the Godflesh album. And that too. Hey, sometimes <laughs> you get lucky like that, right? Yeah, <laughs> there you go, and that's the reason I pick them too. I want to be the guy that's off there because Godflesh Street Cleaner, it's an amazing album. That's their absolutely ugly debut. I got into them just because I was like, oh, I'm into industrial metal, and I heard that they were industrial metal, and 
I was not prepared for how ugly their brand of industrial and, metal. And I'm not a fan of industrial like, metal, although oh, okay. opening track like rats. <laughs> although <sighs> industrial death metal is apparently a thing. Yep. Oh, I'm sure. That album we jammed yesterday, I, I got to jam you an Some album. Some industrial hip hop R&B crossover jazz. <laughs> Dude, that's that shit will happen. It's way <laughs> underground. It's <laughs> way underground. And then there's a blackened. Oh yeah, you have a black like and you, know, you have blackened have, everything. Yeah, you have, yeah. have blackened oh everything. God. You have blackened ballet. I know. I had blackened chicken the other day. Oh, <laughs> that sounds so good. Oh, I know. That nice. makes me want Cajun. When I was seventeen, right I got jumped and I had a blackened eye. Mm-hmm. Oh, it probably wasn't as tasty as blackened chicken. It was nothing was tasty. I couldn't. Was taste. it garnished with an upside down cross? That's important. <laughs> yeah, I don't sometimes. remember. They. <laughs> I was well, talking about the chicken, not your eye. <laughs> oh. Next we have Electric Wizard, Dope Throne, versus I Hate God, Dope Sick. Ah. Dope Throne. The Throne. The throne. I, sit on, I would rather sit on the throne of Dope. And be sick of it. Than ah, be sick of it. I like Dope Sick. I, 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 I Hate God, That's that was probably the one I got into initially. I'm not the biggest fan of Dope Throne. I actually like a lot of other albums Me too. in Electric Wizards back how I like more. Let us pray. Let us pray is disgusting. Mm-hmm. What if I don't want to pray? It's P-R-E-Y, I think. Oh, okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm going to go Dope Sick. I Hate God. Jimmy Bowers, man. The good dude's awesome. He's a great guy. I've always <laughs> liked I Hate God. The ring got me into those guys. So, yeah, thank you, Bean Bong. Bean Bong. Bean, bean Bong. Bong. Bean Bong. Bean Bong. Bean Bong. I'm going to name my next dog that. <laughs> bean if you don't mind. Dude. If you don't mind. That's cool. Come here, Bean Bong. Awesome. Yeah. That's an awesome. Bean Bong. Come here, Bean Bong. I like it. I love it. It's not as good as Mr. Beefy, though. Dude, no. when you and then when that dog gets lost, you have to go through the streets yelling, yeah, Bean Bong! Bean Bong! Bean Bong! Bean bong. Well, this dude's Man, problem? You, is he you, having a you. stroke? There's some crazy motherfucker out in the street yelling, Bean Bong! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they probably be, they probably wouldn't bat an eye in yeah. Toledo, at no, least. No, no, not in Toledo. Next we have Justin Riley. He says, Suffocation, Effigy of the Forgotten, or in tubes, hmm. Cladenstein. Clandestine. In tubes, Cladenstein. Stein. <laughs> nope. Take three. Clandestine. In tubes. <laughs> yep. You do it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> what the f? <laughs> Why can't I say it one more time? Clandestine. Clandestine. Not Cladenstein. Yeah, I know. Or the other fucking four things you said, which is why our eyes are all <laughs> I gotta go effigy. I go effigy of the forgotten as well. Yep. Only because, because you get that right. word. <laughs> no more Cladensteins for me, damn it. <laughs> They're a nice family that live down by the lake. <laughs> the Cladenstein bears. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, suffocation. Yeah, we're all suffocation people. Yeah. This one's easy. Soil work, predators, portrait, or arch enemy wages of sin. Arch enemy wages, wages of sin. Soil yep. work. So we're I knew first, you were going to say I knew it. I knew it. I'm a bigger Soil Work fan, I honestly. I, I love Archie, and I think that's one of their best albums. I do too. Predator's Portrait, whoops ass. Although I haven't jammed Arch Enemy in Wages in a, in a lot of years. But I, I just I will. listened to recently. I, really? So, yeah. Same. It's so good. I didn't listen to that album recently, but we were jamming. Actually, I just made Necrotic listen to the last track on Wages of Sin. It's good. Which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then we listened to... Some hypocrisy after that, so oh, yeah, we we we've been visiting our you know the old school our, mellow death. Yeah, we've been we've been there recently. See, next up we have Hate Eternals, King of All Kings, Brutan, Immolation's Unholy Cult. I'm Eric going. Rutan. I'm going, I'm going immolation. immolation. Hate Eternal, Eric Rutan. Hate Eternal, Eric Rutan. I like Hate Eternal, but yeah. Immolation's Unholy Cult is a really oh, good record. Yeah, fantastic really album. Good and fantastic yeah. album. This one he's been sweating. Decapitated, Nility. Versus Necrophages onset of putrefaction. Necrophages. <sighs> I l- really love Nility. both of these albums. Nility. I um, love Nility. Yeah, I probably love Nility more so than onset of putrefaction. Now, however, if you had made this decapitated Nility versus Necrophages epitaph, I would have been like, ouch. But they didn't. They didn't. But decapitated, dude. I, Spheres of Madness will yeah forever be like ooh. Yeah, decapitated. The awesome band, great band, great guys. They're awesome. So thank you, Justin. Solid, solid ones. You, you got us in some of those. All right. Now we have Gimme Pestilence R. Mm. Okay, guys. 
That's literally how it starts. Dissection, Storm of the Lights, Bane versus Immortal at the Heart. At of the winter. Heart of Winter, my favorite Immortal album ever. Ohio and the whole Midwest, you know, we all got mm. pounded with snow. Mm. And I needed some inspiration to go shovel the driveway. And all I could do was throw the headphones in and put, dude, I put at the heart of winter on. And I was out there in the dark and the snow with 12 fucking inches of it. And I was a goddamn. We are the sons of Midwestern darkness. I got to go immortal, too. That is possibly my favorite one. I'm not going to commit to that just in case we rank them. But yeah. it's going to be way up there. It's a fantastic Somebody's going to go back, you know, back in the I've, episode. Blah, blah, blah. I've, I've never heard either album. Shame you on I know. piece of poopy. Immortal. I'm going with Immortal. Obituary Cause of Death versus Bloodbath Nightmares Made Flesh. But See, you know, that one's tough. Bloodbath, yeah. Bloodbath. God. God. I love Nightmares. Nightmares. I don't know. It's not that. I'll say Bloodbath, but it's not as easy. It's as not. A, it's not that easy. It would have been worse if it was Bloodbath's fathomless mastery. Yeah, it would have been. I, it's still going to be cause of death for me. I I do have a tremendous hard on for that album. See, then we have Goat Horse Constricting Rage of the Merciless versus Toxic Holocaust and Overdose of Death. Ooh. Ah, man, very like like similar too. Like we got mm-hmm. Black and Thrash mm-hmm. here. Go go. Toxic, I'm going to go Toxic Holocaust. I've been jamming Toxic Holocaust I was going to say, lot. didn't we just jam Yeah, but this? not that album. Yeah. We were jamming Chemistry of Consciousness, which, if it was that album, it would be an <laughs> easy win. But I'm going to go Goat Horror Constricting Rage of the Merciless. I love that one. I believe that's the one with uh, Fucked by Satan. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm going Goat Horror. I'm going Goat Horror, too. I haven't listened to that album. I haven't listened to the other one. Yep. Toxic Holocaust puts on a I wanna killer I want to see them live again. I want to see anything live. Joel Grind is the man. Yep. Although yep. the Crowbar stream was cool. Yes. Crowbar oh. stream was cool, and oh. the, the Gate Creeper one was cool. Did you order the shirt too? Mm-hmm. I oh, ordered the too? Gatekeeper shirt, but I, mm-hmm. they were no. Out I'm, of the, I'm talking the crowbar, the crowbar one, the Kirkzilla. Yeah. I wanted to get the autograph poster, but they were sold oh. out by the time I. I didn't even see that. Yeah, when the first came up, when it first came. Wow. Oh. And the last one here from Gimme Pestilence R. And we thank you for this one. Malevolent Creations Retribution versus Immolations Dawn of Possession. It's Immolations Dawn of Possession. It's also Immolations I, Dawn of Possession. Sorry, Immolations like top yeah. tier for me. Immolation. Yeah. I still, Emo. I still like to brag Crazy. that we get to see him twice. That was killer. And they played a lot off of this album, which I was surprised yep. by. Yeah, they did. Well, the, the second set. <laughs> oh, dude. Yep. So, yeah, thank you for the questions, man. Those were good. Brian Mellon, you dirty, dirty son of a bitch. He <laughs> says, Bolt Fro is War Master versus Carcass's Heartwork. Now, you did Bolt Throw a disservice by yeah. putting it up against one of the best metal albums of all time. Yeah. It is Carcass. It's it, Carcass. It, it is definitely Heartwork, dude. I love Heartwork. that Heartwork. album. Yep, I love that album. Through and through. I jammed that so much, the CD. I burnt the damn thing out. I had to buy another one. You know? I've, I've had three copies. Yep, <laughs> yep. The next one is a little bit tougher, however. We have Exodus's Bonded by Blood versus Metallica's Kill Em All. Mm. I'm going to say Bonded by Blood because that album spent a lot of time before it actually got recorded. So it's been edited, I'm sure, throughout the process of them having it written multiple times. Metallica just put out Kill Em All and sent on to the next. I think Bonded by Blood is a little bit more overall refined, refined album. So I'll say I'll say Bonded by Blood for that reason. Oh, this is actually a lot tougher. I do love Kill Em All. I've been revisiting that one and Ride the Lightning. Ah, oh, man. But I mean, Bonded by Blood that is pretty much encapsulates everything Bay Area Thrash. That is yep. the Bay Area Thrash album. So, Bonded. I have to say Kill Em All only because I'm not as familiar with Bonded by Blood. What Paul says? Bailoff would stab you right now. I, I want you to know. <laughs> I yeah. want you to know. You smell that? You smell poser, dude? You smell poser? I smell poser. Hey, hey. I smell poser. Take hey. off that shirt right now. Hey, first of all, <laughs> first of all, you know, fuck these guys. <laughs> be like, this. Yeah, bonded by blood, unless you're him. And honestly, Brian, this might be the most difficult one of them all. He asks, Iron Maiden's Killers versus Black Sabbath's Master of Reality. Now, if it was a different Iron Maiden album, it might be a little bit more tough for me, but I've got to say Black Sabbath, Masters of Reality, Master of Reality. 
Whether there's one master or there's many masters, it's still Black Sabbath. I am the master of my reality, and I love that album. Yep. God damn it, man! I love Killers though. That's, that's like one too. Of my, that's one of my favorites. Killers is fucking fantastic. Literally, when yeah. I listen to any like old school heavy metal album, that's kind of what I wanted to sound like. I love that old school production, the old school sound, mm-hmm, the harmony. Me too. But Master Reality is a testament to all things metal. Like I think it was the launching point for anything really heavy right there. I mean, again, you know, and I I love Killers too, but again. Master Reality. That Black Sabbath discography ranking changed my life. So, <laughs> Master Reality. Sabbath all the way for me. Master Reality was one of those albums that I listened to, and I was like, "Whoa! Like this is, this is good shit." Yeah. You know, the chuggy riff on Into yeah. the Void, man. But oh. like you guys said, it's uh-huh. not trying to downplay Killers, because man, that yeah. album rips. You know, that was the first main album I ever bought. So, Brian, good questions, man. Oh, man, this is from. Yeah. Gabriel Rodriguez. Ooh, wow. Said, hi, Thralls. And for Rin, who is not here tonight, so we're going to give it to uh, I, Mr. Yeah. Miller here. However, after Mr. Miller answers, I feel like I know what Rin would say. And I'm going to answer for him after Miller gives his opinion. And, and then I'm going to ask Rin later and see if I am, in fact, correct. Metallica's Master of Puppets versus Pantera's Vulgar Display of Power. And as much as... Uh flag thrower as I am of Pantera. I do like me Metallica and that is a killer album. Vulgar is a, I mean, what do you think Rin would like, pick, though? Rin would pick Rin, Vulgar Display yeah, of I Power. I think so, too. Yeah. Rin would pick Vulgar Display of Power. and I, yeah, I'm going to pick like Master of Puppets cool. as well. That's my favorite Metallica yeah. album. Um, songs like Battery, Master of Puppets, you yeah, know. It's, it's, it's my it's, second favorite. Yeah, album, right? so, and it's not to say vulgars. I mean, no, vul- <laughs> vul- vul- both of these are by like, my number been, two. Yeah, like Far yep. Beyond Driven versus Masker, no contest. It would have yes. been Southern Trend Kill. If it had been reinventing if any other album, really, yeah. I think, that is a, for me anyway. That's a tough, tough match. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And that's that's a All diehard right. Pantera. We got one for thing. Jam and John, though, here. <laughs> Sugar's Obzen versus Gojira's from Mars to Sirius. That's not fair. That's no, none of these are fair, to be honest with you. That's really so hard. That's I am so glad. We, we, we were talking about this in the car earlier. Oh, I'm about this one in particular? One. Yeah, about this one in particular. Yeah, this is rough. Because this whole thing, everybody's in questions in here. I go with Sugar, though. Um, I would. I'm going with Sugar, too. Obzin is a, a, a man. Mashuga was another I mean, one of those bands that kind of changed my life going, I can't believe someone's this heavy. Dancers to a Discord. Oh, I love that song. Um, Lethargica, Bleed. Bleed, dude. Bleed. Bleed is yeah, still... Bleed! Bleed's still probably one of the better metal songs in the last couple decades. And probably still uh, one of the more YouTube search yeah. things in f- terms of like the drumming and shit, you know, looks at drum right, right, right. has like millions and millions of views, you know. <laughs> It's so, crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to say Obzin, but I love From Mars to Sirius too. It's That's a great album. P- probably one of my favorite Gojira albums, and don't quote me, because who knows. But, I mean, man, uh, uh, Flying Whales, I think, is one of my favorite Gojira songs ever. You yeah, and so, everybody else, yeah, yeah, it's a great the song. The heaviest matter in, in the universe. universe. There, yep. there we go. Yep. yep. Dude, yep. that song is the heaviest fucking song you yep. Know, yep. in the universe. Both great albums, but Meshuggah's Obzin for me. Ooh, for Necrotic yeah. Nick, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Uh, Leprosy from Death, or Nick's uh, number one album ever, uh, In Tomb's Left Hand Path. So my number one album ever, but, I mean, it's one of my favorite... It's death. up there. These are both one of my favorite death metal albums ever. God damn it. <laughs> oh. I mean... Shit. Honestly... It's probably going to be Leprosy. Uh, Leprosy is such a launching point for all things death metal. Like, they I laid mean, down the formula right there. Yep. You know, Left Hand Path is glorious and will win in a lot of different matchups, but uh, Leprosy is Leprosy. Leprosy, Chuck. Yep, there's a reason it's called death metal. Yeah. Oh, Shreddy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Shreddy. I've been reading this the whole time. <laughs> my thinking my about balls it too. are filled Ooh. with sweat. So we have Dream Theater's Metropolis Part Two: Scenes from a Memory versus Opeth's Blackwater Park. You got him right here in your crosshairs. <laughs> Boom! You hit him. I'm hit hard. <laughs> um, the center mass right for the heart. I have an answer, although it is not nowhere near as easy as you might think to have come to this answer. I just, you know, I've seen these questions for a minute now, so I've He's had been thinking about some it time to week. process. Yeah. <laughs> It's, he's cried a lot. <laughs> Self-reflection. A little bit of weeping. A lot of guitar playing. I'm going to go with 
Blackwater Park, and it's by a sea hare. Because if I'm thinking of metal albums, I can think of a few more. First of all, I love every Dream Theater album. There's not really, t- besides like the Astonishing and that I garbage. Was, I was but, just gonna say. you know, I adore 99% of anything Dream Theater material. Uh, when I'm thinking metal, though, I'm Awake would have been more of a metal album. Train of Thought would have been a heavier, more metal album. Um, so just because of that, really, I had to find reasons to get nitpicky. <laughs> and Blackwater Park is an amazing metal album with an amazing producer in Steven Wilson. Mm-hmm. And the harmonized vocals in Bleak yes, on the chorus is. is enough to no hand ejaculate. I can throw my hands up in the air, get aroused, and ejaculate all by listening to Stephen Wilson and Michael Ockerfeld do the chorus to Bleak. So, because of that, there you have that it. Blackwater Park, it. there you have it. I wish you weren't so awkward, bud. <laughs> Spare parts. And that's why I don't play that album around you. Yep. yep. And this is for all of us. Niles Annihilation of the Wicked versus Suffocation's self-title. God bless it. I'm going to say Suffocation. I love that self-titled <clears throat> record. Annihilation of the Wicked is you good. Know? I picked it earlier though up against somebody else. Yeah. And as much as I love this album, I love pound for pound, ounce for ounce. Suffocation, self-titled dude. Nile. And, and you know, I love that Carl Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. That Carl Sanders. <laughs> Niles, Niles, Niles. Sanders. That, that's like one of the best Nile yeah. albums. I yeah. I, I gotta go Nile. Nile. Gabriel. Awesome. Excellent awesome. fucking job. Awesome, yeah, dude. Man. Excellent. Way to go. Okay, Errol Henderson, you got weird in this. And actually, I kind of appreciate the fact that you went off the grid on so many of these. Yeah. All of them, actually. Yeah. Weird Jesus. lineups, but I like it. I, I like it. I do it. too. I like this. It's very different than a lot of other people's questions, so. So here we go. We have The Police's Ghost in the Machine versus Testament's The Gathering. Woo! All right, I'm a sucker for 80s pop. I, I love 80s pop. Dude. I love the, I love the police. police. Same. I'm going the police, only because I don't really care for the gathering. I mean, honestly, uh, I'm police would go be more of a. I mean, if I had, look, if somebody put the two of them in front of me and said, "Which one do you want to jam?" I'd probably be like, "Ooh, yes, the crazy. police." Like, I, I, I'm gonna go for the police. Yeah, throw some metal in the first. I know. Fucking thing we get I know. inside, we're like, ah, oh, we're gonna go to the police. The police, dude. I, I've grown up on them. There's a magic. Yeah. If, if it was synchronicity, <laughs> it would have been an easier choice. I would have gone with synchronicity right away. They have yeah. like such a childhood attachment to that yeah, album. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm gonna go with Ghost of Shame. That's nuts. <laughs> are, you, are you gonna? Are you gonna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 all right. We're all we're all yeah, on board. We're all on board. All right, please. let's all lose credibility together. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Watch that uh, subscriber count just fucking. Right, right. What the? Wake up, in the, <laughs> wake up in the morning. We're back to like 1,500 subs. Fucking thralls of vaginas over here. <laughs> So our next wild matchup here, <laughs> Suffocation's Effigy of a Forgotten versus Blue Oyster Cult's Agents of Fortune. Uh, now, that's actually more difficult, too, because I love BOC. But my favorite BOC album, if it was in there, would have more of a chance, so it's Suffocation. Suffocation. I mean, I'm going to say Suffocation, but that's not fair. I love that Blue Oyster Cult album. Yeah, that, yeah, that album was pretty good. If it was I'm Fire of biggest, Unknown Origin, yeah. if it was Fire of Unknown Origin, it might have won. I'm not oh. the biggest Blue Oyster fan. Oh, Dude, Shred might be having suffocation. Move on. Suffocation, oh move man, on. that keep one. Going, keep, going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh my God. <laughs> Next we have yes, close to the edge versus cattle decapitations. Death Atlas. Yes. <sighs> I mean, it, dude, I love nostalgia. Cattle nostalgia makes me sick. Yeah. I, I like Cattle Decap, but they've never yeah. been something I've heavily listened to throughout my life. And I've definitely heavily listened to Yes and yeah. still do to this day. So yeah. I mean, it'll be the Yes. I'm gonna yeah. say Cattle <laughs> Decap. <laughs> I love Death Atlas. I love Death Atlas. I love pretty much all of Cattle Decap stuff. Yep, Cattle Decapitation. I got to see them with like, it was like me, my brother, a group of four dudes, and like the staff. It was crazy. It was up at the, where the fuck the place? We um, actually saw them with Suffocation. Longhorn, I the Longhorn. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. That club where everyone gets like shot and shit over there. It's it's now the Polish Ostrich. Yeah. (laughs) Get it's now the Polish, the and Polish, the Polish actress actress is having some problems. Yeah, but, so. yeah, we saw them there, and like nobody was there. It was awesome. Oh. The band was awesome. The guys were great. The show was great. They they fucking came out and ripped it. Dude, and Travis, it Ryan. was just for like six people. Seriously, we saw them with suffocation. And that was that show yeah. where that kid, <laughs> that drunk kid, kept oh. falling in front of me, and then he sat down on the couch. 
that was in the yep. yeah, <laughs> and then he fell over the couch, and then he he, he puked on a whole crowd of people. Oh my like God. like dude, he Jeez. they were all coming down the stairs, <laughs> and Terrible. he puked right into this crowd of people, <laughs> oh dude. And this guy God. picked him up by his face and threw him into the bathroom. It was holy shit. It was I was dying. <laughs> so if you're watching, dude, and you don't remember that show, that's why. But we yeah. saw it. Yep. All right, uh, next we have Blood Bass Resurrection Through Carnage versus Thin Lizzy's Chinatown. I mean, <laughs> I mean dude, the, the world's biggest fucking apple with the world's biggest fucking orange. Uh, it's Blood Bath. I mean, I love Thin Lizzy, but that's not my favorite Thin Lizzy album. Yeah, mine either. Yeah, that's and then, then, then I do like yeah. that Blood Bath record, too. Yeah, that's why I would go Blood Bath. Yeah. But if it blood, I could totally see myself. Same also, same same Last one is <laughs> Typo Negative's World Coming Down versus Carcass Surgical Steel. Dude, you I'm gnawing my you finger. Gnawing. Right now. I'm, I'm gnawing my finger right now. Auto cannibalism like right here. I Dude, like I like this. World Coming Down too. I like Surgical Steel. They're both phenomenal. I, like, I love them. Albums. But I'm gonna I probably surprise you. I'm gonna say Typo. I'm gonna go Typo. I am too. Uh, there's some excellent tracks on Surgical mm -hmm. Steel. It's, um, it's but awesome. If I'm completing. Comparing complete to complete uh, typo. I don't. I don't like this anymore. I'm. I'm not. I'm very, I'm very uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm very You're uncomfortable. Not having fun. I'm getting uncomfortable too. But yeah, it's probably go typo on that. Even though that wasn't like one that I had particularly. Uh, that's high, but. that's that's such a gloomy album. Errol, Errol nice, nice yeah, job, dude. Yeah. dude. I you made him Errol. eat himself. <laughs> I ate myself because of you, Errol. All right, we have Noah Earl. Oh my God! Well, right away. We have Master of Puppets versus Rust in Peace. The lights of Polaris, the end doesn't scare us. Megadeth. Rust yeah, well, I'm going to say Rust in Peace. Peace. Again, that's my favorite Megadeth. Album. Yep, Megadeth. Uh, Death Human versus Suffocation Pierced from Within. Death God. Human. Pierced from Pierced Within. Pierced from Within. Although I love Death. I was Death. damning that on the way home the other Death. Death. Death oh. Human. We have Judas Priest, a battle of Judas Priest albums. Sad Wings of Destiny versus Painkiller. Very different eras of Priest. Way to I'm go gonna, there. By production, Painkiller. Pain yeah, I would go there. Then probably because of the same reason, I think. If it was Stained Glass I, I, up against Painkiller, I would have went with Stained Glass, but I'm going to go with Painkiller on this one. And then we have Morbid Angels Covenant versus Left Hand Path. I'm going to say Left Covenant. Hand Path. Left Hand Path. Covenant. I love Covenant, though. F*** you. I love Covenant, too, but, I mean, Left Hand Path is... Left Hand Path is a good jam. Glorious. And Left Hand Path has been getting shit on a little bit because it it's shouldn't. been matched up, and it shouldn't. Yeah. I have to... Left Hand Path. All right, well, since we are running out of time, we're going to do a two-parter, but we're going to finish up this last one here. Dr. Herbert West, 81. Suffocation's Effigy of the Forgotten versus Mortician's Hacked Up for a Barbecue. Hey, this is the first time Mortician has yeah, shown up yeah, in any yeah, of this yeah, stuff. So yeah. I'm, you know what? Mortician. I'm going to Mortician. Mortician. Because yep, I like Mortician. I'm still going to go Effigy. It's, yeah, I do. I, I, I do, too, know, because I like that album. But, I mean, I like Mortician. Mortician. Mortician, dude. See them live. I was going to say, dude, That's oh the way to God, see them. Dude. See them live. I had a good time. Dude, but Hacked Up is an awesome album. Yeah, every time I'm, like, like breaking down a chicken for grilling, I think of that. I was thinking about you earlier oh, when thanks, I, I was thinking about meat and um, not like that. Yeah. I was watching I'm uh, known to cook me some well. some uh, Cornish hens. Some Dude, some guys cooking Cornish hens, and I was like, I should get a hold of Miller. Maybe we'll do a couple Cornish hens sometime because mm -hmm. that, that looks so good. Next, we have Broken Hopes, Loathing versus Monstrosities in Dark Purity. Ah, man, honestly, I'm going to go with Loathing. I, I've had more of a connection with that one. Like, I've had I'm that not one. familiar with either of these. Oh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not either. Nope. Wow. God, Nick, so we're going to go got, with your opinion, yep. Nick. All right. Opinion. And then, finally, we have Morbid Angels Gateways to Annihilation versus Cannibal Corpse's oh, Bloodthirst. Shit. God, I like both those albums. I do. Too. Yeah, I'm going to have to go Morbid Angels. Mm -hmm. Morbid Angels. Angel, Gateway to Annihilation. Well, yeah. yeah, but there's so many good songs. There is. Uh, i got to go with Gateways. Gateways I do, too. I like that album more, but Bloodthirst is a killer album. Yeah, yeah. And it's, dude, I fucking love Cannibal Corpse, so Pantera and Cannibal Corpse, as everyone knows, but Morbid Angel, yeah. man, I'm a huge Morbid Angel fan, too. Oh, yeah, so. it's, it's, 
Hey, we're going to remind you guys that right now, hit the like, subscribe button. We got uh, thrallsmetal.com up now. We're going to be putting up videos all the time. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Uh, we have a Patreon coming, finally. So Woo! That's going to be cool. We've got some podcast material. Um, we're having a giveaway for 4,500 subscribers. We're getting close. We're so 4, close. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Oh, my God. Thank yes, you so awesome. much. This has thank been you. such a great time. Of course, we enjoy this to death and are going to keep doing it. But thank you, thank you. And we'll get down to part two of this eventually. But thank you for the response. You guys have done a wonderful job giving us hell with all this. Yeah, no so shit. thank you guys very much, and of course, we will catch you later. <laughs>